Creating has always been one of the most basic of human tendencies. We started with fire, moved on to the wheel, and then to buildings. We built so much so that each civilization that has lived in the past could be identified by the structures that were built by them. We've come a long way, from the early Mesopotamian to Indus Valley, to Greek, the Roman civilizations, and then to the more modern built environments of London, LA, and Hong Kong. The very face of our built environments has changed. Gone are the days where as Indians we would run from one construction site to another to collect pieces of brick or rubble to build our towers for a game of seven stones. But today the lines have blurred and they completely vanished. Built environments the world over are practically indistinguishable with huge glass facades and one glaring problem, the building materials. These are some of the most commonly used building materials today. We have bricks, concrete, cinder blocks, and glass. But what is the problem with those, you might ask? Put simply, they're not efficient. Sure, they could be cost efficient and everything, but they're not efficient in places that are starting to matter more and more. We need materials that are not only strong enough, but have thermal insulation and a low carbon footprint while being renewable, recyclable, and natural. So what is the solution? I know what you must be thinking. Is this crazy dude asking us to build our homes with weed? In effect, yeah, that's, that's exactly what I'm saying. What I'm talking about today is not this cannabis, but cannabis in this form. I'm talking about hempcrete. Hempcrete is a bio-based building material that is made from the stalks of the cannabis plant, also known as hemp, and a sustainable lime-based cocktail of various industrial ways that has cementitious properties. You know, while, while hempcrete is one of the 50,000 uses of the wonder plant that we call cannabis or hemp, uh, it can still very well be replaced with various other plant sources such as kenaf, wheat straw, uh, rami, seasal, etc. as well. Our journey with developing hempcrete for the Indian market has been super exciting. And along the way, we've had some spectacular revelations. We've realized that this, this, this particular material, hempcrete, has the performance similar to the more modern building materials such as AAC or hollow concrete blocks, while remaining carbon negative. In fact, it is non-toxic and has the additional advantages of being resistant to pests, rodents, mold, and fire. So what's more amazing about living inside a hempcrete house? It makes you feel like you're inside a living, breathing space, cocooned inside the comfort of your mother's embrace. Hempcrete walls are breathable and have enough thermal inertia to regulate indoor humidity and ambient temperature, keeping it comfortable for, us, for the occupants at all times. That kind of performance stands as something more tangible to us. Healthier bank balances. Well, let's just take the example of this room or the very building that we're inside. Had this building been made out of hempcrete and the air conditioning was functioning at the same capacity, all of us would have to be in down jackets and this entire place could as well be used as a cold storage facility. Did you ever realize that everything that we do has a ripple effect? Making our buildings with hempcrete or any bio-based building material is in effect establishing exceptional bio-based built environments with far-reaching impacts. Just the manufacturing involves the utilization of uh, agricultural waste from, from cultivated crops, enabling a secondary source of income for farmers. That is such a fantastically constructive process. We get to not only improve farmer income by up to 20%, but we also prevent them from burning it, completely eliminating a major source of emissions, of carbon emissions. Now, talking about carbon emissions, the construction industry, despite the global economic slowdown, the construction industry still accounts for more than 10% of global carbon dioxide emissions. And built environments still consume more than 40% of the world's energy. Let's just put this simply, just the construction and operation of buildings is a major contributor to climate change. Here's the kicker. Remember how I said hempcrete is carbon negative? One of the biggest advantages of bio-based building materials is that they're actual literal carbon walls. The biomass, which is used to produce materials like hempcrete, which basically constitute of about 50% carbon, gather all of that carbon from the air through photosynthesis. This is what's gonna wow you. Because of all the cap carbon capture being enabled by the plant matter, the net carbon dioxide emissions are in the negative values. Let's put this in perspective. Just, the con just utilizing a material as amazing as this to make, to create our built environments, we can potentially reverse climate change, we can prevent the polar ice caps from melting, and we can improve the livelihoods of all the occupants, but not just the occupants, but also of all the direct and indirect stakeholders involved. I mean, let's just face it, the human potential 
knows no bounds. We have tamed the wilderness and converted it into super comfortable, luxurious, meaningful spaces. But in the process, our exploitation of the planet is leaving it in tatters. It's not all bad news, all right? From utilizing sticky rice for the construction of the Great Wall of China to understanding that biomass can be an effective building material, the evolution of our building material is coming to a full circle. Hempcrete may be just another brick in the wall, but in my opinion, it is the foundation for future sustainable built environments and the continued existence of the human race. Thank you.